Today we're going to be painting an, a fabulous baby elephant and celebrating the new year of 2024. Today it's going to be a really lot of fun. Welcome to Acrylic Painting Mondays with Ginger Cook. If you've always wanted to paint something fun and just free and you know you can just be a little wild with your paints and your colors, this is the video for you. We also have a little one on, on our academy. We started with a rainbow elephant, remember that, years ago, and everybody loved that. We thought you guys might like to have something fun that, you know, just the party atmosphere doesn't necessarily involve alcohol or drinking or any of that stuff, just celebrating the new year. So welcome everybody to my channel, Ginger Cook Live, and my husband, John Little, is uh, you know monitoring the questions and uh, the cameras and all that stuff, and we're excited to uh, share this with you. Do we have any mods out there, John? Oh, we have a full staff, it looks like. Everybody's in and accounted for this evening. Wow, that's wonderful. So that means that we've got Judy and, and, uh, and moderate, Larry, moderator Larry Liz, Liz, Liz and Liz, Liz Carson. And the back office, Stephanie and Tech Liz. Tech Liz, you guys, this is fabulous. And you, you guys have been with us so much during last year. Okay, no, I'm so sorry that the, the stop my watch there. I guess I should have turned my phone off, huh? Anyway, this is been such a great 2023 and we thank you all of you who have participated in our channel and left comments and hung out with us we love you thank you all right without further ado let's get down to painting an elephant okay um you'll notice i have the quintessential color mixing journal out i want to talk to you more about that later in the show if you hadn't done that and you're struggling to mix colors really honestly make that your new year's resolution we're going to be offering this at a special discount for one week only. Um, if you really want to learn how to mix colors, you got to make the journal, you guys. You got to do the work, and it will save you hours later on. It's your Our, recipe book. It's, a, it's your recipe book for color mixing. And you can't print them because everybody's paint dries differently, and it would never be quite right. If you want to know what your paint does, you got to buckle down and watch those 23 videos and, and actually create that book. All right, so the paints we're going to be using today are pretty much all the colors I've got and a few of the... Um, oh, wait a second. Let me bring that up first. I can oh, just no, move this ahead. up here. Let me just move this up here, John. Yeah, the pa paints we're going to be using is just a, you know titanium white, cad yellow light, cad yellow medium, yellow oxide or ochre, uh, raw sienna, um, what was that? Oh yeah, that was marigold. Nah, this is optional. Cat orange, uh, magenta, some different reds. That those are a couple of the Holbein bright reds, like um, uh, opera pink and um, and luminous rose. But again, those are just sort of the highlighted colors for the. Our elephant has all kinds of graffiti, and we wanted to have some bright, fun colors for that. Thalo blue, ultra, ultramarine blue, thalo blue, and thalo green. And the green really is more to mix in the blues. It's not really to get a green color, but I love thalo green and white and, and thalo blue to get some really pretty turquoise colors. That's why that's such a nice color to have, all right? So we've got a 9 by 12 canvas. And John's going to just do a little bit of adjusting with the camera. We don't have the uh, automatic m movement on it anymore. Um, so uh, I guess I have to move this no. up or down, or John's just going to adjust it. So uh, that broke, so John has to do this by hand, but there we go. There's our picture. You should be all set to do it. Now the traceables for this can be found um, on paintingwithginger.com tomorrow on our website. And, um, and for, for orange, you know, orange, orange membership and above, okay? So, you know, for that, you guys, and orange membership is just $5 a month, $4.95 a month, and it gives you access to all our traceables back to 2020. Before that, in case you want to know, they were, they're on Pinterest. Just eat, you can just get the images off of Pinterest. But for, uh, from 2020 on, we do have them um, uh, in a separate way to, uh, to be able to have access to them. And when we say traceables, we don't really give you like an outline like this. You, you get the picture, you download it, and then you trace it. Does that make sense? I know, I think I, some of my friends that are YouTubers, um, you know, will give you an outline. Honestly, there's just not enough hours in the day to do that when you can do it yourself like this. So come on, you guys. All right, so I've got our little elephant. He's on orange. You could do him on blue. 
John thought we should do him on a blue background because he's a blue elephant, and that sort of makes sense. But then I've got some bright yellows and stuff up in here, and I thought the orange might be pretty. So I could be wrong, and you may want to do yours on blue. So let's see how mine comes out, <laughs> and we'll see it, right? So if you have been watching our channel, you know that I use the bristle on brushes, the half inch uh, silver angle brushes for the most part. We do a few others, and a lot of the Posca pens. Sometimes on something like this, if you've outlined it, um, you know, rather than outline it, I might just take some light blue, which I would say the white and thalo blue, okay? And I might just take some light thalo blue, and there's no white in that. Let's see, it's a little dark here, but that's all right, doesn't matter. And uh, that's way too much paint. Do you get that too much paint on your brush? Do you know to, you do know, right, how to, um, uh, wipe that off the excess, right? So that you don't, you're not dealing with a big glob. You know, I know a lot of people don't want to do that because they think it's wasting paint. But um, you do want to do it, trust me. And uh, so this is a very simple shape. And we're just going to outline him. Well, kind of fill him in. We're really, I think outline's the wrong word. I'll make this an ultramarine blue right in here. So it's slightly different only so I can dif differentiate him from the rest of the elephant, right, like that. And uh, I, I don't have any water on the brush. I'm using a Stay Wet palette, all right? And by using the Stay Wet palette, um, there's, it, the, the, the paint is damp, and if I put water on it, it's going to be too thin. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to take a little bit of red right here and just a dark in this area here like that over the blue. That's a shadow part right here. Might as well not fool around with that as your shadows as you see them. Then I'll wipe the brush. So this, because we're doing live chat today, um, we ask you if you have a question for me, you put it in all caps. Um, occasionally, you know, people will make a remark and someone else will disagree with what they said and they get this big controversy going. Or I think the last one we had, whether eucalyptus trees um, uh, grow in Southern California. Actually, they do. I planted hundreds of them myself, little tiny ones for about a buck a piece. Well, yeah, yeah, probably about a hundred of them. And there's like, if you look it up, there's all kinds of eucalyptus trees. There's the kind that live in swamps and the kinds that don't. And, um, and they're native to Australia and Back in the day, the, somebody that was working for the railroad uh, planted a bunch in Southern California in a place called Rancho Santa Fe, and thinking that they that before it became a fancy uh, neighborhood for rich people, and uh, thinking that they would make good railroad ties because they grow so quickly, and they do. I mean, you can have a, a full-size tree up in less than three years. I mean, it's impressive if you water and fertilize it. It's pretty good. And um, so... Um, I, I remember I planted them in Southern California because they're a nice tree and um, and they grow quickly. Conversely, we had some um, macadamia nut trees that just took forever to grow. All right, so again, I'm just sort of preserving the shape of my elephant. I'm not particularly worrying about something, so whether it's light or dark. I'm just trying to be able to differentiate between... Um, I don't want to lose his shape, in other words. So we're doing a live chat. And again, um, kind of want to focus on art stuff, if you don't mind. Uh, we, do, we are doing um, this fun uh, story time in live chat. And I guess all kinds of conversations happen on that. And that's fine, whatever you all want to talk about. We kind of ask on the live shows that we, uh, for, the, for the painting tutorial stuff that I do, that we keep it down to a... Uh, um, uh, you know, kind of focusing on art and art questions. And you may not have any, but then if you do. And then also, I was reading on uh, some of the perks that we have on our YouTube channel um, that I didn't know about. Oh, you guys, apparently, I know, this is so crazy, right? Because I didn't know. Apparently, I don't want that. Apparently, there's a... Um, um, thing called community. There's a community button over there by playlists up on top under the just regular home part of the channel. And, um, and then I can post stuff up there. Pictures, all kinds of neat things apparently. 
and I haven't done it. I think I think I did it like two years ago, and I, I never paid any attention to it. Somebody asked me a whole pile of questions, which I never answered. I never got back to it. I just didn't know. Sorry. So we know now. Yes and yes. So if you want it, just everyone, just uh, check that. You, you'll get a notification if you're subscribed to the channel that I posted something up there. Maybe a question or some funny little factoid that you might want to know. Um, any questions, Sean? Uh, I've not seen anything as of yet, boss. Okay. So one thing um, that you may have noticed, if you're getting the our, our um, Ginger Ginger's Gazette, it, we've changed the name from uh, YouTube Gazette to Ginger's Gazette. And um, and so if you got the new Gazette, there's a new format. We've kind of changed how we're doing stuff. I think what I want to do right here is going to stop and put the eyes in with a Posca pen. If I do that, then I won't lose them. It's really easy to lose them. I don't want to lose the eyes, right? I'm just going to get my iPad up here. Here's and I'm couple, going to just A couple put of questions the, for you, boss. Okay. How do you choose the color you put as your base on the canvas? Is it to complement the main element, or is it another reason? I think I talked about that in the very beginning, but you may have joined us late. I debated whether to use blue or orange because both would have been okay, right? Blue would have been the elephant's blue. Blue, blue might have worked, right? So I, I did the um, I did the uh, the orange because I've got a lot of bright colors back here. And like I said, I said at the very beginning of the video, the orange may be not the thing. I'm just guessing that the orange would be a great idea. I don't know that it is or it isn't. I just thought it might be, okay? So um, for that reason, um, you know, this may or may not have been a great idea, okay? <laughs> so you might want to wait and see how it comes out. Yeah, you might want to wait to see how it comes out, friends, before you do it yourself, right? I mean, just, just a thought, right? Um, I hope everybody had a nice, a nice new year. I don't want that one. Um. Um, another question from Cheryl. Can you paint acrylics over watercolors? You can paint acrylics really over anything. The paint, the paint's dry. And there are probably a lot of watercolors do that because here's the thing. If you lose the white on your watercolor paper, it, you can't really get it back unless you put white. So you can use acrylic paint to put it back. Sure. You absolutely can. Yeah, um, you can um, just kind of kind of watch it. You have to be kind of careful that you're not. Um, you know, once you put it on your watercolor paper, you have created. You 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 won't be able to do anything else with it. No, you won't have watercolor anymore. Right, that's for sure. You won't have watercolor. Yeah, anymore. you can't it's a bring it back. Here. You can't resurrect it. So just keep that in mind as you venture forth. Yeah, if you just if you're thinking that was just such a nifty idea, I should you should do that. Do, do, you know, well, do, do you remember that idea. expression, just nifty? Sure. So I'm using just a little red and ultramarine blue here to make this little dark purple shadows. I'm trying to. I used to love does dazzling purple, but then when I started to go photograph my artwork, it makes such a glare. If you guys have noticed that, so you can make any kind of purples with red and blue. And um, right now, I'm just uh, putting in. Uh, enough information here for our um, for my elephant so that um, I, I still have his you know I still have his body and I haven't haven't kind of lost the um, um, uh, the whole you know the whole piece of him right and of course acrylics are the happiest when they layer. So I talked to my daughter today, and for those of you who not away last time, you may have heard from me, she was very sick over Christmas. She's feeling much better today. She got a new haircut. So wait till you see her. She went out and got herself a new do. Is that, isn't that what they used to say, you got a new do? Yeah, you got a new do. I don't know why they would say that it's a new do, because really, I mean, what is the deal with that, right? You gotta have a new do. There's no do involved. And um, so, uh, Anyhow, she does, and um, again, I'm just working in the lights and darks on this. 
uh, I think I just need a little brush now for his face. I'll just do something small just so I can easily get it. Just some sort of light blue color. Doesn't have to be much. I'm just going to cover up the orange. And like I said, you could have done blue. And then maybe you wouldn't have to do this. <laughs> but we'll see, you know. But mostly to answer your question, I look for, look for the color underneath the color underneath the color. And I try to put use those colors. Yeah, and if you look at the background, there's a lot of orange in this in the background. And that's where we start, start from the back to the front. Yeah, it's when the, yeah, what's behind and do the front. And uh, sometimes, though, there's a school of thought. Now, this is interesting. It's a school of thought on people and skin tones that you start with the lightest ones first and then do the dark. And I think there's a, you could do it either way. There was an artist, an oil painting artist named, there's an oil painting in acrylics. You start with the darkest colors, okay? And then um, you, um, uh, then you, then you keep adding the lights. But there was a guy, his name was Lord Layton. And he lived, in, an American artist, and got very popular with his uh, Roman antiquity paintings with, you know, people in ancient Rome and, you know, women and tigers and, you know, and like that they were in the Colosseum or living in some sort of palace in ancient Rome. That was his thing. And, um, He painted all his stuff uh, from from uh, uh, light to dark. Like a watercolorist. Yeah, he painted it just like a watercolorist. And, um, and it's an interesting technique that he had. And he was very successful. Got to be really, you know, big. And um, what he did, let's put his little hat on. This is sort of fun. So I hope everybody had a nice New Year. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine today on the phone. I asked her what she did for New Year's, and she said she kind of stayed home and didn't do anything. And, um, and she asked what we did. They did the same. We did the same, and I, I've been staying home for New Year's for years. I, I'll tell you, one time uh, back when Cinnamon was, gee, she probably in second or third grade, one of my cousins, they were older, you know, they were in their, probably about, 10 or 12 years older than me, um, were coming home from a party and um, got hit by a drunk driver, and that was the end of them. Um, so that's for that reason, I just feel like, you know, going out maybe, I, I, just, there's just, I don't have any reason to go out. And then we had friends that used to, to rent a, um, like they, the, the hotels in Houston, what they do, is that a lot of them, not all of them, but some of them have uh, have a New Year's Eve party where you rent the room for the night so you're not driving. And then you um, you go to, there's a big party and, and buffet and it's all fancy. And I had friends that did that and wanted me to come to that. And I just, you know, the cost of that, you could do a three-day cruise. <laughs> uh, just, we have priority. I'm just saying, you know, that's that's wildly expensive. In my opinion, okay. That, that, that what you were just using was that titanium or zinc? That's I don't have any zinc out. It was all titanium. Yeah, but you see how it doesn't um, cover very well, does it? No. Now we have another question for you. Sure. How does Ginger know when a painting is done? I have been watching Story Time, and I think it's done long before she does. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you, that's uh, a good question. That's a really good question because. Um, Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, no, no, that's a really good question. Because what happens is, is that um, I will have gone somewhere with the, with the paint, you know, maybe put a light area or something, a dark area, and then I go to, um, I, I go to look again, and it's not that, you know, the color just is gone. It's not there anymore, right? So, um, This is luminous opera. It's not a pretty color. You can kind of tell from this that we're going to go a little nuts on this picture, right? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Because you know, I feel like it. Yes and yes. It's an elephant, for Pete's sakes. 
Well, you know, it's cute. And John loves elephants. He's one of Ellie's friends. And um, so John, John was all excited when he saw this reference and kind of created a little bit more to it. And uh, so this is sort of a creation by your truly John and his, his hunt for a cute elephant. Okay. Can't go wrong with a cute elephant. No. So I could play more on this elephant, but I think I know where he is now. I mean, he's right here on my canvas, but I kind of know more what I have to do with him, right? And so I haven't, I haven't lost any elephant here. Notice that when I do his head, the, um, I want to make sure I have enough dark on the side so that his head looks rounded. But he can, he can just hang in there and look um, like a hippie or something, right? <laughs> uh, does the elephant have a name? Yeah, this is Edward. Is Ellie's friend's Edward? Ellie's friend Edward. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna, we're gonna. Let me just take a second and dry this. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, just, no. just two seconds. No, 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 no. No. Why don't you show something? Okay, I'll show something. <laughs> All right. For those of you who are new to our channel. We also have an awesome online art school. It's self-directed. In other words, like, they've got like maybe 50 landscape paintings and, and in different levels from beginner to advanced. And you pick the one you want to do. There's no order that you have to paint something. Whatever just sort of inspires you. And we keep adding to the, to, to the um, library of videos that we have. And they're amazing and, and really fun and inspiring. And this was one we just released. I didn't get time to... Um, release uh, to show this and uh, post this in our Facebook club but uh, this is the Michigan Winter House we have a video that's called Michigan House and this is the Winter House what I liked about this one was um, that this is kind of an all, up, all year round winter painting I love the snowman um, I love I love the, um, the the snow piled on the trees it really explains how to do trees and you know, on this fun little house with the uh, kind of this orange sky. And if, if you look at the Michigan house we did in, um, we have on our academy, it also has an orange sky. Yes? But um, conversely, 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 I have it here. On YouTube, just a few Mondays ago, we did this uh, 12 by 12 snowman in the woods. And this has been, I've seen some of you paint yours and they're wonderful. There's this sort of glow about him. And you see it's a similar, I didn't, um, you, when you do, the, when you do uh, him, you might want to take some of what I taught you there and, and jazz this guy up a little bit, because now you know how to do it. But again, um, this is a, one of the most popular videos we've had this, this, this winter on YouTube. If you haven't done it, you might want to. It's really fun. Yes? Yes and yes. And the other popular videos that we've done on YouTube are that some of you may not, you know, that is the, um, we've got to have right set up, is this adorable dog. We did this on uh, Christmas Day, this little beagle. And we'll show you what's, and we had a, a one of a, a new artist posts in our Facebook club. We'll show you that later. Oh, oh somebody's got to do that. Yeah, we'll show you that later of, of her painting of the dog. But this is really, again, the traceables are on our website, a painting with ginger com. And then I was surprised at how many people on YouTube enjoyed painting our skier. We had one lady, and she did the all different outfit because her son wears different colors, and she did the same painting but within a, a different uh, colors. So a lot of people do this. And uh, so if you've got a skier in your family, this is a one, it's a good video to go back and check out. So anyhow, those are just some small things I'm showing you. We'll show more, we'll do more show and tell later. But again, Michigan House is available now for Red and Purple uh, Academy members. members. Yes and yes. Uh, question, how many uh, personal art coaching do you do in a week? Oh, well, I'll, t I'll tell you what, I have that because the, the computer keeps track. Um, <laughs> you're you're going to be shocked. <laughs> well, I'll tell you that next week. Uh, or maybe I'll, I, if you catch one of our um, 
our story times, which we'll probably do, a, can't do a story time tomorrow because I've got a doctor's appointment. So if we end up doing a story time, it'll be late. It'll be late because I have a doctor's appointment at two, and I probably won't get home till five, and you know, I'll probably be depressed and. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, so what what would cheer you up more than painting and having story time? Come on. Well, I don't know. We'll see. You know, we'll I see. mean, we 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 see, right? We see. Yes and yes. Okay, here's the third one. She does a lot. Yeah. So, but I've had some very good response to people liking story time. And these are just stories that have happened to me in my life. Some of the stories that I will tell in future are, you know, the time I uh, wanted to be a spy. Um, oh, that's an that, exciting That's a event really good soon. one. Um, let's see. I think I need some burnt sienna new color out. Yeah, but there's so a time when I wanted to be a spy. Um, There was a time when I had an alien for an art agent. She, Nothing wrong with that. She explained to me that everybody on her planet was named Aka something, and that's a hilarious story. And the reason it's so funny is that she absolutely believed every word of it. Okay, I mean that when first time that is a result. You'll have to hear more about that on another video. My art agent, who sold my paintings all over the country, and did a wonderful job of it, but was an alien from another planet, okay? It's good to know these things, right? Well, yeah. So those are some stories that are coming up. Then I'll probably have a story about um, selling your artwork and how my journey of art sales over the years and how I set, sold some stuff. Notice I'm just mixing some browns and oranges in here. And um, Let's see, is this a blue and... Dark magenta, let's see what we get there. That's a little bit ultramarine blue and magenta. Get something a little dark going in here. Come on down here to the bottom of this. Ginger, you should write a book from all the stories from YouTube. Maybe somebody else would help me do that. <laughs> Maybe by the time we can do that, I'll be an AI, AI will do it for me. I can just let them just see the videos and then give, give me a year and I bet I can get an AI to do it for me. But I don't know. See, the thing that people that write books, you guys, I had a very interesting life, but people like like write books, you know, they're like, uh, they've done something. I mean, you know, like, I don't know, they're like actors or they're like, I don't know, kind of, they've done stuff. And I, I never felt like I did enough stuff to, you know, to qualify for that anybody would want to read a book. I, I tell you what, my adventures and, you know, living with a, Oh, I tell you, I haven't told you about my world-famous uh, mother, original mother, the psychic, um, and her, her deal, and uh, why she married John von Herberg, and, uh, and, and why my brothers hated him, their dad. Um, let's see. So many stories, so little time. So just going now. We're but we going, have tons of paintings to do. We so have we'll tons make time. of paintings to do and lots of paintings, <laughs> and so we have these we have these stories. Um, uh, let's see. There were some. There's. I've kind of made a list of things that might be interesting to you guys. Um, but I think um, how my artwork got licensed and so, sold all over the world. You know that's a good story. What to look? What to look out for when you're considering um, putting your art in an art gallery? That will be one of the stories coming up. The story time uh, that people might really enjoy, uh, particularly if you want, want to do anything with your art. I mean, all the times I've been ripped off is just really funny. Well, maybe not funny, but you know, I mean, bizarre, bizarre, right? And um, this is yellow oxide over the orange. It's pretty, isn't it? See how I get a bit of a glow? The yellow oxide over the orange. Which I wanted to create a bit, a little bit of a glow next to him. Yes and yes. So those are, those are some fun things. And um,
how I met Cinnamon's dad and what it was like to live with somebody that was um, on the spectrum and not never hurting it, never having never heard of the spectrum or what that means and not understanding that so much of what he did was just, you know, well, for me, it was crazy, just crazy. But um, we might talk about how he invented a way to keep uh, submarines from um, imploding at the bottom of the sea, but that he didn't want to um, take any money for it because that was his thing about not wanting money for anything he did or it ruined it and how he ended up giving it to the government. We had such a different philosophy on m m money, my friends. I <laughs> just can't express that enough, right? It's a little bit of burnt sienna. and just got to get some sort of underpainting colors down here that's dark so that I can put the brighter colors on top. So let's take a little bit of blue and dark blue. Here we go. Put something down here because we have to do... I want this to be graffiti on the bottom, but I got to have some dark, dark stuff down here to have the graffiti show up. Okay, make sense? Well, that's a nice happy accident right there. We'll just put it on. The thing about it is, is that when you're learning to paint, for instance, one of the you know, when I first person I ever saw was Bob. You know, I saw Bob Ross on television, and you know, on PBS, and he was wonderful. Um, but just wonderful, a kind person, great artist, and he he was into oils and um, but he painted lots of different landscapes very beautifully, and but the thing was that that's what he did was into landscapes, and which is nothing wrong with that. Don't don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with being into landscapes, but um, let's try a little green here. This may have to dry a little bit before I can add more colors now because I'll start erasing some. All right, so the elephant now has got some sort of background, which we will then make better. But, well, let's see, I can put a little orange up here. See, I have a conk on my brush, and then I just want to deal with this orange, not every bit of orange I ever had on my brush in its whole little brush life. Oh, here's a good one for you. Is Cook Colby's last name or Ginger's maiden name, or what is it? Well, Colby's <laughs> last name was Johnson. And, um, so Cinnamon is a Johnson. But, and Cinnamon is a Johnson. And um, how I ended up with the name Cook will be another story. Because <laughs> that's a story in itself, right? Oh, it is indeed. It is indeed. That's a story in itself, my friends. So... Um, well, I think we've got a cheery background. Got this, we can't do much. See how if I touch this, it's sticky. So if I tried to do anything with else with this, tell this totally dried, oh, I couldn't. Are you whining? It sounds no, to me I'm like going to work whining. on the elephant now because but, you know John just has a hard time dealing with. You better be ready for a hair dryer though soon. Get, I'm, I'm getting get, there. Get I'm your getting, stuff. I'm, I'm getting get the your picture. act I'm, together, hey, Mister hey, hey, Little. Hey. Calm down over there. <laughs> Calm down. Get your act together. I'm so, working on it. I'm anyway, on I was it. saying it about, you know, Bob Ross. Got it. Was that you, you could paint that, but that didn't help you paint an elephant. And one of the wonderful things about being an artist is in being able to just say, you know what? Oh, I wish I had the, I wish I had a picture of a baby elephant. Hey, I know how to do it. And I think Ginger has a video on that. Ginger has a video on just about everything. <laughs> okay? And... She does. That would be me. You know, that's, 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 that's talking to my third person here, but that would be me because um, uh, you know, I don't like to paint the same things. I want to paint everything. But one of the, my training to learn to paint everything was my art agent who was an alien from another planet. Again, that's a story you guys can look forward to on story time. <laughs> Okay. Well, you think that's funny, but it's, these things just happen, you know. Um, you know, we've covered, for instance, if you've missed some of it, we've covered the fact that when Cinnamon and I went to Europe, we had she got it. She had a stalker, 
And we were so dumb, we didn't realize he was a stalker. We just thought he was being nice. Um, spent a lot of time, you know, I'll tell you about oh, the Oh, man. I tell you about the time, I, uh, and the story time's coming up, I'll tell you about the time um, I went to Mexico because I was building a house in, when I was building our house in California, um, I had seen somebody with a sink in their bathroom, and um, it was it was, had had pictures on, had birds and stuff. It was hand done. It was hand thrown. Beautiful sink, all glazed. They came from Mexico, and and I said, well, where'd you get that? And I don't know where she got it, but she said you have to go to Mexico to get these sinks. So I'll tell you about the the dumb stuff I did when I went to lots <laughs> of. A lot of these stories are just about dumb and dumber, really, for that poor judgment and just craziness, right? I'll tell you about the time I um, I uh, jumped on an airplane and went to Spain for or went to, for um, spring break. Told my parents I was in um, in Italy and the school that I was in Germany with my brother. Who does this at 15, 16? There are people, you know, just. Uh, so, <laughs> let's see. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, let's see. So, anyway, there's a lot of stories coming up. So, you haven't watched it. I have a lot of paintings to do. And yeah, I've got every, 60 or 70 to go. And, um, of course, yeah. they won't all be on story time. Some I'll just be doing in the studio. They won't all be done. Um, they, it'll take me probably several months to do them all. I think I need a purple. I thought you were going to try. Uh, no, I've got a purple now going. You said to, you said to work on this, so I got to put out a purple. This is a mauve from Holbein. I got a, I want a little purple here with my elephant. Because this little elephant, I'll tell you what, you guys, he's she's got, he's got. Um, so many layers to get these colors right. You'd think it was nothing, but I, t I, pro I promise you, lots of layers. So, let's see, that pink's dry, so I can do other stuff. But, as I started to talk about, you know, uh, Bob Ross, was that if you really um, want to expand, you know, um, your painting, painting skills, try not to just picking out paintings that would decorate your house and then be out of things to paint. Consider, <laughs> consider, um, you know, you know, maybe you don't really want a baby elephant, but what would you learn painting one? What could you learn painting a baby elephant like this that might ha might apply when you're trying to do some other fun thing for your um, maybe maybe a project will come up and, and you sit, you do it but you don't I mean, you're not sure you know how but if you've um, painted a few elephants notice I'm going in with a little shading here on the folds of his ears. He, he works because he's got all these colors layered on top. Um, we'll just do his face first, and that, that ought to help. So anyhow, just going to say that. I don't know if people have any New Year's resolutions about for art. Um, I'd be very curious at the end of the show if you'd leave those in the comments about what your New Year's resolutions are for art. We had. I want to thank everybody that participated in the... Um, membership drive, which ended um, at midnight last night. So if you didn't take advantage of the, um, you, know, so, you know, renewing your year's membership during November or December, um, you know, you could, of course you can still remove, and you'll still, you know, have a savings of the two months free. You always, everybody gets that, but you won't get an original Ginger Cook painting. You won't be on the list. So I'm sorry about that. Because I know, notice the brush stroke is curving here. Do you see that? Because I'm trying to suggest that the nose is curving. So I'm just doing like that with the brush. And then like that. So anyway, so again, some of you may have thought about doing it. 
run out of time, and I'm sorry, I don't think we'll ever do it again. We may, I may, uh, no, 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 no <laughs> don't think so. I got to mail all these things out. John has to mail these things out. It's worse than an auction. Somebody asked us about if we're going to be doing auctions, okay? And um, maybe later, if, when all this other stuff's done, um, you know, when all the painting's done for the, um, for the membership drive, all those paintings are, are done, um, I might consider that. Let's see. Hey, if you'd like to take, uh, thank Sharon for her donation that came in through PayPal, and she's got a ticket in the fishbowl. Thank you, Sharon. That's awesome. That's really, you guys, that this is so nice. So I got a little pink up here. I want to do some pink here. And, um, okay. So a lot of this painting that I'm doing here is little tiny overlapping brush strokes like it's like that and stop or maybe like that and stop. It's not it's not you're not blending, you're just sort of dabbing. Okay? You're dabbing and layering. Dab dab okay. dab. And let's see. Let's start with a little tiny. We'll, we'll play with his eyes and face cuz you guys will like that. So we have some, some things that we can report that we're happy to say. Uh, we, we complained enough about the website of Jerry's not yeah. being friendly to, to, to Apple uh, products that apparently John ordered some frames from them. And, um, uh, and the and website worked properly. Yeah. Uh, it's always potluck with those people. Well, you don't know what what would happen before was that you'd get to the cart and, and then you'd go add something else, and then everything would plop out. Yep. And then the other thing was that happened that Cinnamon this year, you know, she opened her little online art store, and um, and then they had they ran into trouble with shipping, but now that ship those shipping issues issues have been solved. Okay. All right, so it's good to know that, right? Indeed. That they they've all they've all been solved, and um, and uh, honestly, if you get a chance and you you need some art supplies, uh, check out the Art Sherpa on her on her website. Um, Notice I left a little tiny bit of that orange showing there, but not much. Okay. And uh, so I want to say that there's a shadow on this side of his trunk, like right here. So we're going to do something dark right along here to so it looks rounded. Make sense? And I want something a little darker down by his jaw. So we'll change maybe the blues on it. So I want something darker in here. All right. So by putting this shadow here, I've um, uh, and then some highlights on, on, on his trunk like that. Now the trick is you don't want a line here, so what you've got to do, and this was a brush I found this last year. Let's see where is it? These are uh, these Terry Harrison. Uh, uh, is this the Terry Harrison? Yeah. Yes. These little Terry blenders. Blender brush. You see, see this right here. So I can. You see how this I'm just smudger. taking that and softening that out. It's a great little smudger. This is if you're having trouble blending. Other companies sell blender brushes like this, not just as this came from England. Other companies do sell that, all right? But um, I'll get a little yellow. See, I'll start doing this. Um, We 
Let's give Debbie a thank you for her donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Thank you very, very much. So, um, I learned something new today. I learned that we that we had to put hashtags on our descriptions after the video, and then they'll show up. And I, I don't know. We've been doing this for a while, and I honestly had not heard of that. And I feel a little dumb because I didn't know, but. Um, well, we're going to be coming a. Uh... We're going to just be coming a. So if you've got any social media experts out there that want to volunteer their time with us, somebody that's really good with uh, Twitter and all that stuff, we're, we're open. Not Twitter. Not Twitter. Uh, what is it? Um, well, see, I don't even know the names of the stuff we're supposed to be good at. That's how bad it is, right? Um, we will be doing Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook. Okay, those, those ones. And then the Facebook's new thing called Threads. Yeah, so anybody knows anything about that? That's good to know, right? Yes and yes. So. Um, and the pay is peanuts. Go yeah, the pay alley. is peanuts. You be for join up, but again, we're, we're gonna. I don't know why we didn't I think about asking for her help before. We're asking for it now. Yeah, again, if that's your thing, right? It may not be your thing at all. Problem is, is that. Um, it's not our thing at the it's moment. Not but our it's not our thing. It's not necessarily we're our generational thing, but we're gonna learn it by golly. And we're yes. going to enjoy it. Yeah. Notice I'm putting some red and orange up here. And uh, like that on the on this little hat. Come on, it's already getting kind of cute. Just by sh giving some shadows, yes and yes, to, the, um, uh, to his face. And we want to bring the shadow down a little further on his trunk like that. And then, uh, so as I keep adding a bit of color, let's see, and I want something dark right here. And then this other ear, I love these, this ear. You see, it's getting already kind of fun. It's very party-like. And this, I would tell you, if you've got any grandkids or somebody, you know, um, this could be a birthday t thing too, don't you guys think so? We didn't put any alcohol or uh, implicate, apply anything like alcohol or anything in this. So I, we thought that, you know, my thought was that if you had somebody with a baby or something like this, it might be a fun, um, might be a fun uh, birthday uh, gift, you know, for somebody. Uh, Any more that everybody has everything and they get it on Amazon, but nobody could get this. Nobody could get your, one of your these, right? So, um, just something to think about. Here's a comment for you. Yeah. My daughter wanted a 30 by 40 painting of an abstract painting she liked. I tried and tried with no success to duplicate it. Has anyone tried to copy an abstract painting? Any suggestions on how to do it? Yes, uh, find one that she likes. <laughs> Right and buy it, <laughs> and then uh, and and then try to do the color underneath the color underneath the color. Well, this is, I think that's what she tried to do. She she found one and she tried to duplicate it and okay. struggled with it. Uh, yeah, because you have to. That's one of the reasons why it helps to do the um, to, to 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 paint all these crazy tutorials. Like even one like this. If you paint this el elephant, right? If you were to paint this elephant, you would learn a little bit about. Um, Elephants. About, well, about layering colors. Look at the colors that I'm putting in him, right? So you learn a little bit and try, try some stuff um, kind of out of your comfort zone. I had a, I used to teach a, a lady up the street that just only wanted to do abstracts. And um, uh, that what you may not know about abstracts, oh, this is good, you guys, you're going to love this. Let's start with what do you not know about abstracts that you wish you'd known? Well, colors affect the psyche, okay? When you look at a color, that affects you. Some, you know, you have, you're going to have colors that you want to, that you gravitate, gravitate toward, towards, okay? And I've noticed, for instance, 
not to be too sexist about this, but men often have a different color palette than women. We don't necessarily um, pick the same colors, which is why I encourage people to um, uh, to try, you know, to try some of our old EGs that are men paint, male paintings, because I promise you that those palettes are not ones that I would think about doing. Okay. They, they just aren't. So let's see, where's that going? So, so what happens is, is that you're affected by those colors, emotionally affected by those colors. Okay. That's just the bottom line. You just are. There's this big one, a big bunch of light right here on his eye. Okay. So if you start off to do an abstract that say somebody likes, and your psyche doesn't like those colors or doesn't like it on some level, you kind of are going, oh my God, I can't believe I've got stuck painting this. I don't care if it's an abstract or whatever it is. It's almost impossible, a little bit of yellow here, it's almost impossible to paint it. Because um, you're just not emotionally there. A uh, true story. I know I should say these for story times, but you get, I can't help myself, right? There was a time when I had an, uh, a, a publishing company right here in Texas that was publishing my art. And I'll tell you about that, my art sales. But the thing I remember doing is that they, they had an um, artist that was selling these abstracts as fast as she could paint them. And oh my God, they were nothing but red and black. And I just hated them. I mean, hate doesn't even describe what I felt about these things, right? And they, I thought they were so friggin' hideous, I couldn't believe anybody would buy them, because I didn't like them at all. What was your first clue that I didn't like them? That was cad red, yellow light up here, okay? I didn't like them. I just didn't like them, you guys. I didn't like them. And <laughs> they said, if you would paint some of these for us, we, we could make you a lot more money. And honestly, I needed the money. A little bit of orange here. I did. I needed the money. But um, I couldn't bring myself to do it. It's a little bit of luminous rose and white. Let's put some yellow with it. What a peach color, you know. Uh, p red and white and yellow makes peach, you guys, you know that, right? But if you had the quintessential color mixing journal, you would know that too, but it's all right. A little bit of a peach sale color for here. One week for $111.95. Get them while they're available. So what are they normally, baby? $139.95. So how much are people saving? Because I'm not good at math. Uh, over $20. Saving over $20? $20. About 20 bucks. That's $20, huh? Yep. Buy one, wow. Okay, so, um, this, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. I could do it. Mentally, I could do it. I couldn't get fast. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> and that's, that's the problem with, I need this, Mom, would you paint it for me? Um, sometimes... Okay, another example of that, my, one of my best friends, when she was living here in Texas, she wanted me to paint, um, she wanted a painting for a living room, and she loved these oranges and reds and everything, and she, I said, well, find me a reference and I'll paint it for you. I'm not going to make something up, but find me a reference. So, um, uh, now I'm using a little bit. Thalo green is a, it's a transparent color if you add water to it. So if I put a little thalo green on top of, say, this, um, it will stain it kind of that, kind of like a green stain. See? It'll stain over the blue, kind of glazing it, I guess, is what I'm telling you I'm doing, right? And uh, then if I want to add something deeper, I can just add the color. So anyway, so I said, yeah, yeah, I'd paint it. And um, uh, should have been easy, right? 
I mean, how hard could it have been, right? Really? But I was, I was in it for a, a couple of days, and I was getting, I was just roaring around the house like somebody that had, was off their meds or something, you know, that was on meds and then off of them, okay? And by adding a little bit of, uh, kind of a little bit more of the contour of his leg now, and see, I keep adding and light, lightening things. And this is lighter. And hey, let's elephant. give a truckload of thanks to Jewel for her donation that came in through Zello. And she's got a few tickets in the old fishbowl. Thank you very much, Jules. That's awesome. So anyhow, I, I didn't know what I was painting. I was just painting colors, you know what I mean? And it was, a, it was, an, it was an old DG and it was a doc scene. And um, uh, it was a, a painting of a war. And that people were being carried up in stretchers, and there was the, the bread on the dock was blood. And um, I hadn't realized that on a sub subconscious level, I think sometimes, now this is going to sound woo cuckoo for some of you, sometimes you channel the energy of the artist. And if that artist isn't a nice person or they're going through some problems, you may be picking up on that and can't do it. And it's not anything against your ability to paint something, okay? It's, let's put a little shadow right there, okay? It's your inability to, um, to tap into the energy of the painting. And I finally said, you know what? I said, you're not going to want, do you realize what this is? I, I said, you're not going to want this painting. This is, this is. This is a war scene. And she, she said, oh, give it to me anyway. I want to try it. She had it in her house for about, I don't know, two days. And she said, you're right. I, I can't do it. So I took it down to a local art gallery that was carrying my work at the time and sold it to somebody who had that, who probably, not, not this sounds mean. Should I be mean? <laughs> who, who probably had the energy of that war thing. But my friend didn't have it, and I didn't have it. And it wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't what we. Um, it wasn't what you It didn't wanted. resonate with us. See what I mean? It didn't resonate with us. And um, a little bit of green here. An olive green. See how our little elephant's coming alive? I mean, he's kind of cute, right? And. Uh, so that could be it, too. That wasn't you at all. It's just that you could not get into the energy of whoever painted that. Um, and I know this sounds... All right, so some of you may remember a, um, a very famous... Uh, he was on PBS all the time. And I'm trying to think what his name was, but he, he died of a heart attack. He lived in Hawaii. He was always on PBS, you know, telling you how to improve your life and how to kind of self-help things and positive thinking and all that, right? Some of you may have remembered him, and I'll think of his name in a minute. But he, one time, made an interesting observation. He said that, that if you, for instance, hang something in your house, like a painting or maybe play music of something that uh, you pick up the energy of that, um, that's a little thin little line right there, that artist, and that your, um, your mood could change depending on what you put on the wall. Now, I know that that's going to sound cuckoo to some of you, but I absolutely believe it. Wayne Dyer was his name, and um, he was absolutely right on that. That you can't, um, 
I found that I couldn't hang paintings in my house of my adopted mother. I gave them all away. I couldn't hang them. And uh, I can't, I, I don't get near her perfume too. Um, you know, I don't, she used Shalimar and I can't do that perfume either. Wherever there's a light, there's a dark. I want this ear to show up. So I made something dark right there. See, I brought the ear out. Now I can do a little more layers on this. So it, the, maybe when you're having trouble painting something, it's not you at all. And we have to be kind of careful with the old, EG, old EGs, too. There was an old EG that, um, that I kind of liked some of his artwork. And then when I started reading about him, um, he was, um, there's a little bit of blue here like that. This sounds kind of crazy, but um, I believed he liked young children too much. How's that? Mm. And there were too many paintings of nude kids. And um, so I don't, I don't teach any of, you know, we don't do his videos. How's that? Just don't do them. Uh, if, and, you know, that's just me. I mean, everybody's affected by art differently. And uh, uh, there was an example of a, I used to uh, sell in this art gallery. Um, there was a, a the owner's um, husband was a, the owner was a, well, that's a, another story. We'll just save that for story time. <laughs> but asked me to talk about the fact that uh, the people that liked my, his collectors could no more buy my paintings than the man in the moon. Didn't matter how good they were, they couldn't take the energy of the artwork. And you think all oh, that's kind of crazy, but it really isn't. Okay. So I just, I throw that out there, and I know that sounds very cuckoo and ooey zooies, right? Is that a thing, ooey zooies? Ooey gooey. Ooey zooies, yeah. But um, you're concentrating on the elephant now. I can tell. Yeah, I'm concentrating on the elephant, but you, you really have to, con it's something that one wants to consider before one um, gets too involved in um, picking out paint that you want to do because you think it's pretty. Because it may be, um, maybe not you at all. It's just you can't do it because you don't have, you know, so the vibe is not there, right? Just give a thank you out to Debbie for her donation that came in through PayPal. We have a couple of Debbies in here. Really appreciate it, guys. Keeps us going. Yeah, thank you very, very much. Hopefully, we can we can uh, replace this camera that doesn't zoom anymore. The color mixing journal is on sale for one week, starting today, and it'll end next Monday. It's, it's a recipe to make your own recipe book. Should I just take a minute and I'll show you that, okay? I'm just going to put this, let this dry. So, because it, I'll tell you a tip here, and you probably all know it, but in case you don't, if you're using any kind of paint pens, the painting should be dry first. <laughs> Otherwise, you may find that, you um, plug up your pen. that your pens don't work anymore. Um, so here's our color mixing journal. And the first I've already got a little paint on mine, but that's all right. That's what it's for, right? <laughs> There's so a lot let's, of paint in there. The first one is, why do why a color mixing journal? 
You'll save hundreds of dollars from either buying the wrong or unnecessary colors or from throwing out ruined color mixes of paints. So you'll save more money just learning how to mix the colors than, um, than the cost of the videos and the time it takes to make it. We show you how to use your gray scale on your color wheel, and I think I had that out earlier. Color wheel out earlier, didn't I? Well, gosh darn, I, I did. I don't think so. I, I did, yeah. It. We show you how to use the, yeah, here it is, I got it. We show you how to use the grayscale in this and how that affects your colors, for instance. And we show you how these, what these colors, these same colors, what does this color look like if it were gray? What does this color look like if it was, uh, was gray? What shade of gray would it be, right? We show you how to mix all these different browns. We show you how to take 10, basically white and, and eight essential colors and pretty much mix anything. And um, uh, one of the things that I, uh, and you know, the thing is if we ever add anything to this color mixing journal, you, if you own it, you automatically get that. We tell you what glazing is. We show you more on how to make a color wheel. And we tell you, we, we use it, we tell you what the top brands of acrylics are in the United States, but you may live somewhere else. And this is anything, these are a series of videos. You, you need to, you have to actually do the work yourself. And, I, and this is a great New Year's project, all right? Yeah, don't Here's, get confused. We're not sending you a finished manual. But, no, you, you have to make it. And we're, like, for instance, here's blue. Here's ultramarine blue. Here's all the colors you can make with ultramarine blue if you add other colors. So you got to kind of watch, watch that. Uh, remember, we did a lot of Salvador paints, right? Well, we show you. Here's the colors in the Salvador paint. We show you how to make those if you just had the other eight colors. Hmm? Oh. Again... Um, again, here's some of the blues in the Salvador paint kit. We show you how to make those using your own colors that you already have. Okay, so it's not. I love Salvador paints; they're great colors. But sometimes you just want to be lazy and not do them. We also suggest something about um, um, when you're starting a project to just, um, you know, like a new painting, make a li list of the colors you're using it as you go, and then finally put a little photograph of the painting. So you can go back to the painting and go, how did I make that blue sky? Oh, yeah, that was over there, and that's how I made it. If you're looking at an older painting, it's like, but I don't remember how I did that. So this color, can, this color a mixing journal, can be as effective as a cookbook, as, as, as a cookbook but really it's, you know, watch the videos, and it's your effort in putting it in, how much effort you put in is, is, is how great success it is. But I don't think about mixing with mixing colors anymore. I don't want you to have to wonder, what color does she use? You'll, just, you'll be able to look at that abstract painting and know how exactly what colors were used and how they did it and decide if it's an emotional thing you can't paint it or you just don't have the skill, okay? There you go. Because you know, honestly, there are some paintings that you know, are triggers for people too. Maybe something happened to you as a kid that and anybody else could paint this in a breeze and you can't because you're looking at it going, OMG, I can't paint that. And people say, well, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not saying anything's wrong. It's just not your thing anymore, right? So uh, I'll keep painting. I hope that was an explanation for that. We don't promote all the stuff we do. But I do want to thank everybody who um, you know, put a little blue One on the One of our many this. flaws. You know, I know. We, I know we're not... We're not we're, good marketers. We're not good marketers. That's what I say. Like, okay. We'd rather paint. We'd rather paint. This is absolutely true, John. We, we'd rather paint. What happened to the Salvador paints are no longer on Amazon. We don't know, Jules. Our representative disappeared a few months ago. Well, oh, over a year. A year. Yeah, about a year now. You can't get them anymore? No, they're not on, uh, they're not on Amazon. Don't know when they're coming back if they will. Wow. Well, we bought, when they went on sale for like $10 a kit, we bought a ton of them. We, I mean, we, we bought a punch because I, I like when I travel, I like to use them. Um, that's a shame though, right? Yeah, we'll probably use them, use them a lot on the um, story times. Because yes. all the colors are right there, and they're great colors. Yeah, they're beautiful colors. And, you know, if you just don't feel like mixing all the time, after I just gave you this bit about mixing colors, <laughs> but sometimes you don't feel like it. You just want, where's the stupid color, you know? And um, uh, sometimes that's, um, that's what you want to do, right? 
Now somebody made a comment, I don't know where it went to. Somebody made a comment, what? Just a little bit of... Let me see if I can find it. I got to have the... See, he's getting cute, isn't he? Come on, you guys. Yes? You're capturing him. Capturing the true Edward. Yeah, that's me. I'm going to capture him. Well, it's just a little, like a little lid on this. He's got a little dark blue lid right here. Okay. Well, here we go. A few years back, you guys hosted a marathon for New Year's, and you gave away the paintings. I won one of them and will always remember that was such a nice and fun day. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, this year, of course, we've got a lot of paintings to do, so uh, now we're doing... <laughs> I don't think I could ask her to do another dozen paintings. Yeah, yeah, now, we're, <laughs> now we're doing story time. Doing story times this time. And, um, uh, yeah, fun, right? Let's make a darker red here. Oops, too dark. A little purple with that. Curve his little trunk up. Yes and yes. Oh, let's do this color. I, I'm enjoying it. This, <laughs> listen, you know, you know, we I have that, you know, that rainbow kind of elephant, that beginner um, tutorial on our website. Um, just a little cute little, it's like a one cookie lesson. And this is fun, but I have to tell you, I think that you guys are going to find this one more fun. And, which is cool, right? Let's get a little bit of something dark right here. So uh, th this is one of those paintings where we have so many darling col colors on him that, you know, if you put one in a different place, I did. Just try to make sure you get the highlights in the right place and you'll be okay, right? Um, that's the key on this guy. I love his little party hat. And uh, like the highlights on him. That to me is the fun part, just looking at where all the. These, when you do something like this, if you kind of relax and just enjoy, enjoy the video, right, and paint it, you're going to find that. Um, uh, it's like if you just paint it, just kind of follow the directions and paint it, you know, you're, you're going to find that it's a little bit like um, a, um, it's a little bit of this uh, luminous rose now on this. That's where the good colors come in, right? So, you're, let's see, where was I going with that? I'm concentrating on this, but I want to tell you stuff too. They're going to find that um, it's relaxing, like doing a, uh, a jigsaw puzzle. I think. I think stuff like this is very relaxing. It's like doing a jigsaw puzzle. And you just have to be aware of where there's a light, there's a dark. So I might, on this bottom of his ear, I want to do a straight line, but I might just do a few little dots and suggest that. A little highlight. Just a little highlight here and there. Just to kind of break the, um, all of that, and I want to have a little bit more shadow on his eye here, above his eye. And uh, uh, let's see. Let's do a little something darker here. 
So it's not one just one dark line. I might add, add, you know, right here I might have it darker but not go all the way across. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Almost lost his mouth, but I want to do that because he's smiling. Okay. So then we want something a little darker. You can do ultramarine blue and magenta make a beautiful purple. Okay. If you want to, you know, the more blue, it'll be more of a blue purple or more red purple, depending on what you want. I want a little shadow under his eye right here, like that. So if I back up now and just to look at my whole whole little elephant guy here. Take his legs up a little bit like that. What's he sitting on? Let's let's well we gotta do a little more to the background as we're talking. But let's just talk about what he's sitting on. Now you see how this comes out to a point? That has to be flat. This this has to have a flat line right there. Okay? That's important. The shape of this. It's really easy to lose the shape. It comes under here, but that's flat. Okay? And uh, All right. So now, before we get too carried away with our fun little elephant, Let's do a little bit of, of color now on the background. So I'm going to put some gold right here. This is like some marigold right next to him. And maybe some Cajello light. Now what I want to do with that is take that one of those blending brushes and um, smudge that around. We want to have the, this is his light side, so we want to have this to be very happy. I think I was, I remember Wayne, Wayne Dyer, he had all these kids, and um, uh, he noticed that one son, his temperament had gotten terrible and deteriorated what I would consider, you know, quite rapidly. And um, uh, it turned out that uh, he had a bunch of posters up that were really um, dark. And he suggested that he remove those. And he was amazed to, to find that his um, son's attitude got better. People don't appreciate they, they kind of know about music, you know, it's kind of about music, but art can be that too. I tell you what, you can pick up the bad vibes from, you know, past artists. Um, most of the artists that we, we, we choose to, to, to picture, I'm going to do a little purple here. Maybe a little bit of blue. Let's try some red. Just some different reds here. Go back to some golds. This is just a matter of just layering a few things, getting on, getting it all in there. I can have something a little bit darker right next to this leg because it's light. So you got to think about wherever there's a dark light, where would you put that if you could do that. So if I do that, then the, then the gold kind of is where I kind of want it. Um, okay.
Okay, back to our elephant. Any questions, John? Any questions, my dear? I'm not seeing a question. Everybody thinks you got a cute little elephant, though. Why don't we give a big thank you out to Anna Maria for her donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Thank you very much, Anna Maria. And I love it when you're posting your art in, in our, um, and our, Anna Maria will post, and some of you guys are posting in our Facebook club. And then we get to enjoy what you're painting and what you like and what you're seeing. So we like it when you guys post. And um, if you're not a member of our uh, Facebook cl cl club. Why not? Uh, consider it's free. And we, you know, honestly, it's a wonderful place, John, to, isn't it? To just to, 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 to show the, the artwork and what people are doing. It's just, it's terrific, right? What's that? Okay, we've got the I think I've got this lighter the pen. I think I'll just give up and use the color. All right, so I want this to be a little bit darker blue right there on this hat. Okay. Small stuff, you guys, but then it kind of bugs me if I don't have it. All right, let's do this little graffiti thing around his head, okay? So under, under his hat. So we're going to do these little dots. And some orange. And then he's got some really nice bright yellows. You can get away with this even though it's wet if you um, just stop, drop the color and don't get too carried away with the Uh, don't, don't smear it, in other words. Get some nice bright reds up here. Bring it all the way around his hat like that. There's this little bit, bit, bit of happy uh, color here. Then on top of his hat, he's got, this is all with a small little brush. We're going to start with yellow first and just dot that in. He's got this little top thing and just don't use lines so much as little dots. So I can, if I don't dry that, I can get away with it by just touching the red and picking my brush up. If you're gonna do, if you if you're gonna do that and don't want to risk um, smearing everything, dry everything. Smearing some, it. No smearing. Smearing. Hey, let's give a uh, a huge thank you to Julie for her donation that came in through PayPal, and she's got a ticket or two in the old fishbowl. Oh, Jules, thank you very, very much. Julie. Yes. Julie. Okay, so it's got its little party stuff on. Here's the little patches of bright color that, you know, are just there because we can put them, right? <laughs> yeah? Okay, now, well, th th I'm going to let that dry for just a second. Speaking of, of things like that, I want to take a moment to thank um, Tent and her husband. Where's the lamb, you? Hey, uh, the lamb has a name. Yeah, so... 
Still this way came out. in uh, to our P.O. box a little bit late, so we couldn't well, show no, you the it last. Came in time. We didn't get out to it. We didn't get it in time. This is a hand painted card by Tent, and from Tent and Mike, and she says, Ginger John and Stuffy Staff, from our home to yours, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And this is the original painting of her silver bells. Isn't that beautiful with the holly? So we appreciate that Christmas card. And she sent uh, a new, stuffy staff, a new member. stuffy staff member. Isn't she adorable? Kind of goes with the elephant that we're painting, right? Could be a friend, right? That's a beautiful. So, And then um, we got, this is William acrylic sh shades of gray. And look at all these pretty colors. She thought I might have fun with this. And we may. So we'll know. So oh, we'll, we'll, come we'll, up we'll with definitely a, do something with it. I've got to think it. of a design for that. We'll, we'll come up with a design for these colors, figure out what they actually do. Uh, but we'll do a color mixing journal page for them so we know the colors we've got. Yeah, see what That's we That's how we'll do that. We'll do and then it. we'll know the colors we've got. But thank you very much. Always lovely. Appreciate everybody's holiday good wishes. And all of you that, you know, uh, renewed your membership early. We thank you very much for that, too. We're just re continued and renewed your membership and are continuing, continuing to paint with us. So, all right. So now let's get down here and put the party stuff at his feet, right? Yes and yes. Yeah. So before I do that, I want to make sure that, see, it's dried a little bit now, and I can do some highlights. This is phthalo blue and white. But like that and then because you know acrylics dry darker so you thought you had it and then you didn't right okay so uh, and I've got this I want a dark something coming up here just a little bit higher here like that Yes, of course, I had white on the brush. You know that, right? If you have white on the brush, you really can't get back into something dark. But there you go. So I brought that up a little bit <laughs> well, higher, that, you know, right? That, that's so poetic, babe. Just a little light, uh, light, light bit on his tummy right there, so you kind of see where it is. And uh, I'll just do a few little light colors here, and I want to put some purple right up here on his um, up here on his shoulder I don't want to lose that okay so there's that's um that's great fun there right so let's see let's let's get in the bottom of Let's put in the confetti on the bottom. This is the fun part. You ready for the fun part? Okay, so we're going to start with, uh, say, cad red light. And we're going to go doop, 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 doop. Okay, ready for this? Cad red. This is how you create the party effect. Kind of random little bits of color. Red streaks going up here like that. And I want a little light highlight on his toe. Okay, so now we got to have some yellow. So this is some marigold, and you have to, to kind of plop this paint. Because you're not drawing between. You plop and go. You just touch and go, right? So touch and go. Here's some cad orange, cadmium orange. Now, when you're painting the graffiti, it should be kind of going down. If it's falling, it should sort of indicate down, right? You want to indicate, you know, downward strokes. This at the bottom, you can um, suggest that he's just sitting in this wonderful pile of graffiti. He's a party animal. Come on. Yeah, he's a party animal. And then you want, but you want to vary the brush strokes. This is something that 
you know, you want to vary the brush strokes. So the big, these are big, pretty much big, bold strokes down here, right? But uh, when you're doing this, you want little tiny brush strokes, right? So you think about almost like little apostrophes maybe would be the shape I would do. Let's uh, give Julianne a thank you for her donation that came in through PayPal and she's got a ticket in the fishbowl. Oh, thank you very much Julianne. I hope you have a wonderful new year and I hope we can, I hope all of you, you know, the resolution, I'd love seeing what you're painting, you know. Your art coaches are waiting for you to send your artwork in to me. You guys you know that, right? Pull the painting down a little bit there, boss. Huh? Pull the painting down. Just Thank waiting you. for you to send me that. Start some up at the top, too. Don't just start. You know, it's, it's falling from above. So, I mean, you don't need too <laughs> it's many. It's not but falling just, up. You know, it's not falling up. So. No falling up. And then, and then you can have some fun with some bright, um, luminous colors. Just send a color. Don't overdo these, but it's fun to... To add them, right? Just make sure you have enough, but not too many. It's a fine line. Yeah, it can. They don't mix. We discovered that, didn't we? Yes, we did. They don't really mix. Um... I need a little of this light blue color, and this is why I like the phthalo blue and the white. I'm going to come over here. Can you see this? I'll take some white paint here, and I want. I want to see this beautiful kind of, this is beautiful turquoise blue. I'm going to come up here like this and hold the palette knife flat. Just a little bit there on this side. And then maybe a little bit of the ultramarine blue over here on this side. Let's put a little orange over it. Uh, maybe not that. Let's try purple. Okay. So, who doesn't love a festive elephant? Yes and yes. Tell me if you have a little one that maybe is um, is uh, going to be into a part is going to a part. You know, maybe someone's, maybe you know somebody, maybe you know somebody, and um, that might really love a little elephant like this. I know a lot of our a lot of our mods have got um, new grandbabies. Um, which is, I think is very wonderful. A little bit of shadow over there. You know, so when we put the, so I'm just kind of touching up now as we talk, but I just, I'm kind of curious, John, has anybody had a chance to, um, um, you know, has anybody been, what, do we get many, many comments on our, um, on our story time stuff that we're doing? Well, we, we put know. a poll out and I really want to know, right now we're just, it's whenever I have time to do it, do it, we, we air one and you get notified if you're subscribed. But if there was a, if we, if, I really want to know if you would answer our poll under community, 
whether you would you would prefer a um, uh, a, um, our videos in the in the morning or the afternoon, anything like that. Those are we kind of want to know those things, don't we, John? Yeah, we have sixty nine votes so far. We have sixteen percent one afternoon, twenty six percent prefer evenings, three percent are morning, and fifty five percent are any time. That's the current ratings right now. Again, that's under the community tab under Ginger Cook's um, YouTube channel page. Put a little pink down time. here, too. Thank you. Well, that's that, you know, we just discovered that page. <laughs> just, just, well, we knew about it a year ago, then never did anything. Well, with then it. we forgot. You know what I mean? It's just like. Um, what are we supposed to do with that? Yeah, yeah. We, did, we just didn't know, man. So we're, we're, we're working on it, right? Do you know who makes that, those, the, those gray colors that you were showing? Um, now, Jerry's are? used to sell something called yeah, 50, but that's different, though. This 50 Shades different. of Gray. And I, I don't know where, where did I put it. Maybe you took it away, so I don't know. Oh, blame me. Well, I mean, you're the one that made off with it, man. Just Well, you know. protecting my new employee. Yeah, okay. I don't want um, a bunch of paint all over my lamb chop. Lamb chop, what do we do with the paints? We didn't get the paints. I want to do a little pink tongue on him. Oh, it's probably in the journal. Nope. What did you do with them? <sighs> the one thing that we did learn, if any of you have been watching us, steady videos have been, you know, uh, watching us, is that um, if you're using the Holbein Luminous Colors, you can't, that's like your final color. You can't put anything over the top of those. Um, and when you're dropping these dots, just this is weird. Oh, come on! How happy is he? You should find a little frame for him soon. I should. You should find a little little frame. I'm trying to find the paints. That is so weird. His legs don't go straight down. They sort of curve out a little bit. Okay. Make sure that I conveyed that. Yeah, no. I just really didn't put it in Kind of thin that leg out right here, okay. Just sometimes you just have to do a few little things, and you know how that is. There's no just, brand on it. There is no brand on it. Well, this was from Tent. Maybe Tent would know where she found it. This is the 12 shades of gray acrylic set, highly pigmented, triple milled colors, set of 12, and it conforms to ASTMD. 4236, made in China. Well, of course, it's, you know, like I say, Jerry's did a... Uh, uh, they had a set. They had a set, you know, like some years ago. One of my friends actually suggested it to them. Back when, remember that was that famous book, Shades of Grey? Remember that one? I never read it. And uh, they, they made a movie out of it and everything, too. Remember that, you guys? Okay, so there's, a, there's my frame here, man. It's our happy little el el elephant -y thing. And I think I could do like a little, let's see. Let's do a pen for that. Um, you've got these pens. You can, you can have fun with these, too. Oh, yeah, 12 Shades of Grey. This was the ones yeah, that Jerry like the did. the same brace, too, if you open it up. See, there's the 12 Shades of Grey. But let's see, look at the colors. They look different to me. Let's compare them. Oh, they are different. Look here, see? They're similar, but not quite the same. So, um... Yeah, they're close, but there are some differences in them. So, um, anyway, there's the, those are the sets. 
Um, I think I, yeah, so anyway. We'll come, we'll come over the painting. We'll have to come out the painting, right? But I don't want people to have to go out and buy new things, but oh, I want to. Oh, no, we'll do it for just a, a fun little project. No, I certainly wouldn't go buy a set just to do one painting. That's silly. Right, well, you were going to get the frame, maybe. Baby. Nope. It's not a frame time yet. Uh, no? Nope. You sure? Yep. Over okay. a whole bind of lumina, should you gesso a canvas if you were trying to mix them or canvas cap out? I don't know what that means, Lynn. The whole white luminous is going to, be, going to be the top layer. When you're done with your painting, you're doing the final touches of color. You don't put anything on top of them. No, you don't brown. put on anything, anything on top. They're just your... Um, we do want to at least share that one painting that we got of the puppy dog. Which one? The one that... Oh, yeah, I want you to see this. And while we're doing that, I'll show you. John's going to get that out. I want to give a shout-out to... Um, then we'll, we'll wrap this up. But I wanted to give a shout-out to um, our story time videos. Again, talk about that. Some of you really love seeing this painting uh, being done. I'm not going to have him, he can't really back out on the video, no. but that one. He or maybe around. this one. These were all commissioned, sold paintings of people that renewed their memberships in November and December, paintingwithginger.com, for either red or purple members. So those were kind of neat. If you want to see how I painted those, those videos are on the... Um, they're, on, on, they're, they're called story time, so look for that hashtag story time. And, and we also have a playlist. They're not tutorials, not designed for you to paint. And they're not tutorials. And then um, this is our calendar, and these were all tutorials in um, this year in our academy. And uh, maybe you remember some of these. And then there's 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 things that we say on the top that to inspire you for the month. Like I see beauty in the simplest things and we we match the sayings to the um, uh, for, to what we were doing. And like for instance, I let go of judgment and create freely. These are really wonderful affirmations that you can do and the calendars are all great. You can write on them. Um, we'll be selling these um, you know through January. I don't know if we'll continue past that. But uh, went to February. Last year went to February. It went to February. But again, these are wonderful. Uh, these are wonderful. Uh, available in two sizes. Available in two sizes, and so you can go to paintingwithginger.com and go to our store and find those. Yes and yes. Do you want to show? Um, yeah. So real Maggie's quick, uh, what, what was the gal's name again, John? Because Maggie Curry. Maggie Curry is the first time she's. Um, ever posted anything in that. You saw the painting that we did on YouTube of the Beagle, and this is hers. People ask me, does anybody ever do these? Yes, they do, and they do a beautiful job. Maggie, I'm proud of you. You did this great. We're going to try to show more of you guys' artwork as we, um, in the coming year, if you're posting somewhere on Facebook and uh, so forth, and, you know, or sending it in for art coaching, we want to show it on the air. We want to shout you out because we think you're doing great. So Maggie did a great job. If you want to paint the Beagle, he's what? He's a couple weeks back on you. I think he was Christmas on YouTube. Yep. So did you get, now I want my frame. I, now you, got you it. want your frame. No, because I want to sign it and. Um, final touches. And do the final touches on this because, um, again, this got curved a bit right here on his eye. I want to make sure that, that we have that. And. 12, 16, oh, it's a new year. Well, I love these Artisto pens. Someone said they <clears throat> they were out. We've been featuring them, and now Amazon's out. Those might have them back in by now. You know, you never know. Well, for the holidays, it's the one everybody was buying everything. Do you remember that back in COVID? It was hard to get things too, right? Supply chain. So. I'll always blame the supply chain. All right, go ahead, John. So John's going to put that in the frame so you guys can see how cute this looks. 
Again, the traceable will be available on um, our website uh, tomorrow, tomorrow for orange members and above. If you, you know, the thing about being a, you know, if you have an orange member, you don't have to do it forever. You can just, oh my gosh, you guys, how cute is this, right? You have to kind of hold it. I'll there hold it. There you go. How cute is this, right? Go do it from there. Or yeah, I can. Fun. I can sign it right here too. Okay. And I think he's fun. I hope you guys think he's fun. Um, wow. Well, Ellie always said that Ed was a fun guy, so. And so, uh, Happy New Year. We'd love to know what your painting resolutions are. If you'd leave those in the comments, um, stay tuned for our. Um, uh, seeing that stuff. Stay tuned for our. Um, got to shake these up a little more than I'm doing it. Stay tuned for more of our story times. And I want to share with you, I asked everybody about their UFO experiences. And I've got some great ones from some of our viewers that you guys are going to just love. So we'll share those. And let's put a party hat on for all of us. Thank our mods for all the help this year. Love you guys as I sign my name. And um, Shout out for my daughter, Cinnamon, if you, uh, you're watching some of her videos. She's got a new hairdo. It is so cute. Wait till you see it. It's a radical do, right? So It's a new do. It's a new, a new do. do. It's a new year. And where does that come from, the do's? You know what I mean? We don't know. But do. um, I, I, I guess as I, as I put it in a frame, one of the things that helps me is I can see where I can put colors and stuff like that, where I didn't have it. All right, like that. But mostly I think I'm, I feel like I'm, I have uh, a fait accompli. Did they say that in French, fait accompli? I want to narrow this uh, hat right there. Did you use opera pink on tonight's palette? Yes. A couple of the places I have it, the aqua, uh, opera, pink opera. I didn't overdo it, but I, I put it there and I put it in a couple of these um, like, see, there's a drop here and maybe here. You don't want to overdo it because, see? But it, it makes for festive painting. And there's a little bit of this on his ear here before I finished all the other colors, right? Because who doesn't love? Oh, is a short or slang for hairdo? Oh. You got a new hairdo. So I just got to do do. Is that right? According to Leanne. Louis, well, Louis she would know, right? Absolutely. Well, Art would probably know because he's a hairdresser. I didn't barber. see him tonight. He would know, though. He would know. He knows all. Right? He, he would know. And then the luminous rose is really pretty, too. And I want to put some of that up on the hat up here, too. Let me see if I thanked everybody. Oh, we have one more thank you to do. We have some more thank yous, yeah. One more thank you. And... Um, Hey, thank you goes to Debbie for her donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Debbie. And yeah, again, we want to thank, thank all our mods for, all, for hanging yeah. with us last year. We have no travel plans this year at all. We have pretty much decided we're in for the... For the, um, for the long haul. As they for say. the long haul, so we wanna, we'll see a lot more of you this year. And, uh, <laughs> you may or may not like that. No, we'll see gonna, how that goes. Why wouldn't they love that, John? Of course I they're going to no like idea. it. I have no idea. Well, I don't either. So I mean, of course don't you like gonna... it when guests leave? Come on, let's admit it. No. Well, yeah, but that's guests. Unless it's Edward. I mean, come okay. on. All right. Well, this is, come on. He's Some adorable. little person in, in your life would, I think, absolutely love this. Don't you think, John? I do. And Ellie's going to be so tickled. I don't know. John will definitely, this is a keeper. John will never sell this. Oh, no. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be framed. John will never <laughs> never sell this this happy little elephant. So, anyway, happy new year, guys. New year, you guys. <laughs> and um, oh, you, know, you, you laugh, but I, I see, you know, as I do it, I see like this one little so, thing. So the question came up, how do you know when a painting's done? It is when never, I do, When never I have the contrast, uh, right. When, like, for instance, done. I had to do that just it's so you done. saw the top of his head, right? We have and gone I, back to a painting two or three years old, and she's modified it. She's changed them. So is a painting ever done? No. Yeah, I, can, I think so, but sometimes you just, you know, <laughs> you see things that you just didn't think you saw, and then you do them, right? 
Yes and yes. So uh, I didn't want to use any dark black on this, so I wanted some dark colors. So would you like use up some here? I just purple and, and ultramarine blue That's dark for enough. my little dark for my darker colors. Yeah. Ellie will not let you sell those. No. No. This is uh, all right. Happy days. Thanks. Thanks everybody. Love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Tell others about us. We love to be able to. Um, share these videos with a, a larger audience this year. We're, we're looking forward to your help in doing it. I'm going to put a little bit of orange right there because orange and purple are compliments. Orange and purple are compliments. Orange and turquoise are compliments. I know. Why did you say purple? Because I just got through using purple. That's what I thought. That's a big There's too much water. Where? Yeah, I saw what you were about to put on there. Yeah, never mind. Wrong brush. <laughs> so, uh, th well, that's a good point. But I want a little bit of orange. Right there. Uh, oh, where's the luminous orange? Thank you, team, for the new employee. Lamb chops fitting right in. Yeah, lamb chops. She's That's still what scared we of it. All right, here's some luminous orange. Oh, look at that. Don't go crazy. A dab here or there. That's it. Go yep. and do it. You asked, right? All right, a little bit of luminous orange. Not too much, but we did it, right? We did it. All right. Let's party on, you guys, and we'll see you next Monday. And um, I don't know what we'll be painting, but it'll be fabulous. You know it, because we're doing it. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Bye, everyone. How many people do we have? We had a high of 200.